Vertical webcams are the growing trend on live streaming platforms these days and today I'll be showing you exactly how to do it. Let's get into it. How's it going folks? Welcome to another video. I'm Fizz and today we're going to talk about vertical webcams. When I say vertical webcam, I don't mean a special product that is solely a vertical webcam. I'm talking about your existing 16x9 camera, tweaking it and achieving a kind of fake 9x16 look. I'll be showing you two ways how to achieve this in OBS Studio and even providing the free resources so that you can follow along with me. Before we jump in, if you guys enjoy the video or find it helpful in the slightest, please hit that subscribe button down below and while you're down there, hit like as well since, you know, they're right next to each other. I've currently got the worst subscriber to non-subscriber ratio in this entire platform and I'd, uh, I'd like to make a dent on it. Jumping straight into OBS, the easiest way to crop any source or scene is to simply hold the ALT key and drag the little boxes you can see around the edge. If you can't see the, them, the source might be locked. All you do is click the little padlock icon and they should appear. As you can expect, grabbing one side crops just that side, but cropping the corner allows you to crop two sides at once. Please note, however, this is extremely destructive for your webcam source and you should only do it if you're absolutely sure that you do not want to have a widescreen webcam at all. If you do want the option of having both a widescreen camera and then a vertical camera setup, maybe you want like a just chatting scene with just your widescreen camera, maybe some chat up, and then when you swap to play games, you want it to crop in and be a vertical camera. You want to follow along as we'll be doing some scene nesting using OBS's built-in filters and cropping our scenes. If you want to know more about nested scenes, you can check out my other video linked up in the top corner, or this top corner, I'm not sure. First off, we need to create a scene in OBS which is only the widescreen camera. Let's call this one the widescreen camera. In this scene, we'll add our webcam source. Mine is here under capture card and I'll lock it off by clicking the little padlock. Next, we're gonna create a new scene. We'll call this one vertical camera. In this scene, instead of adding a video capture device like a webcam, we're going to add the scene that we just created. So we'll add the widescreen camera one. Now, if you flick between both scenes, you'll notice that they are the exact same and the only difference is that the vertical camera scene has the widescreen scene instead of a video source. Now, to create the vertical look, you can apply a crop filter to the scene. So right click on the vertical camera scene, go to filters, hit that little plus symbol, select crop slash pad from the pop-up list and adjust the crop to your liking. If you've done it correctly, you should now have a cropped vertical scene where your widescreen one looks like a standard camera. Now you can go ahead and add that vertical camera scene to your gaming scene and use the widescreen camera whenever you want. You might notice that the crop leaves the edges of your new fancy camera pretty boxy and sharp. If you're a fan of a smooth edge or have another odd shape in mind, you might want to use a mask to create your vertical look instead of a crop. Masks allow you to have custom shapes for any scene or source and it works by overlapping an image on top of your source that tells OBS what to hide and what to show. In the description below, I'll have a link to download the masks that I use in this video if you want to follow along. If you want to make your own masks, you can do that using a transparent image and a black color to represent what you want to hide. For example, this simple circle mask is created by cutting out a circle on a black background. The process of masking is very similar to cropping. We're going to start by creating two layers, one for the widescreen camera and one for the vertical camera. Add our camera source to the widescreen scene and add our widescreen scene to the vertical scene. Following along so far, right click on the vertical camera scene, go to filters and instead of choosing the crop pad option, we're going to choose the image mask slash blend. Don't be scared of this new pop-up box. It's really simple to use. If you downloaded my set of masks, you'll notice they are black at the sides and transparent in the middle. All you need to do is find where you saved the masks on your PC using the browse button that is located next to the path option. 
and select that file. When you do that, you'll notice in the preview that your camera is now only showing the transparent part of the image. That is the whole masking process. I provided four masks in my download, two thick ones and two thin ones, and these variations have a difference in how round the corners are. One is a 10 pixel radius and the other is a 20. You can play around with these to see what you prefer, or make your own if you want to try something new. Alongside the, those masks, I provided a very simple white border for you to use if you're using the mask. To add this, all you need to do is head into your vertical camera scene, add the border as an image, and make sure it is above the camera scene in the source panel down at the bottom. If you want to change the color of it, right click on the border image in your scene, go to filters and add a new filter by clicking that little plus icon down at the bottom. Select color correction from the pop-up list and next to where it says color multiply, you can choose any color you like. Above that are some adjustments that you can make to get the perfect color that you need and voila, you have a colored border. And that's it, two ways to achieve the vertical camera look. If you've got any problems or any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe down below and hit the like button while you're down there. Here are two other suggested videos and I will see you guys in the next one.